Hey guys, I'm Brooke. I'm a singer, songwriter, and actress, and I've got a secret. If you've been seeing strange messages like these pop up all over your social media feeds lately, then you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna show you how to decode these secret messages. First, I wanted to thank Zebra Pen for making this all possible by sponsoring this video. I'm always writing little notes and letters to my friends, but I've never written a secret code before, so I was really excited to be a part of this. A little later on in this video, you guys are gonna get to meet Vanessa Hill, a super awesome scientist who helped make this secret code. Okay, so here's my secret message, which looks like a bunch of nonsense, but once I show you how to break this code, you'll be able to read what I wrote, which is actually a secret none of my fans know about me. I gotta be honest, it took me a while to decide what I was gonna write about myself. I'm always trying to be open and real with my fans and share my true self with them, but there are of course things I keep private too. I guess I do have a few secrets, just things I've chosen not to share with people, either because they're embarrassing or a little weird. Well, I've decided to have some fun and share one of these secrets about me today. So you're probably wondering when I'm gonna show you how to break the code, right? Okay, here's your first clue. See how the secret message has all of these different colors and thicknesses, right? For the pastel colors, I used the Zebra Pen Mild Liner Brush Pen and Marker. I love how it's double-sided. So see how it has a nice thick brush pen for thicker lines, which works nice for hand lettering, but it also has the marker sign for thinner lines like a highlighter. The colors are super pretty and versatile and just perfect for spring. Are you ready to find out what all these different colors have to do with the secret code? Absolutely nothing. That's right, they're a decoy. They have literally nothing to do with our code breaker except to send people on a wild goose chase. I had you there for a second though, didn't I? Okay, okay, now it's time for the big reveal. Here to join us is Vanessa Hill. She's a scientist and a YouTuber. She's amazing and one of the smartest people I know. She helped create this secret code, so she's gonna tell us how she made it and how to break it. Hi Vanessa, thanks for being here today. Hi Brooke, thanks for having me. So I was hoping you could tell our viewers the secret code breaker behind these secret messages. It would be my pleasure. So another word for secret messages is cryptography. In fact, the word cryptography translates to secret writing. To make information secret, you use a cipher, which is an algorithm or set of rules that converts plain text into ciphertext using a key to determine how it's done. The process of making text secret is called encryption and the reverse process is called decryption. Cryptography has been used for thousands of years. Scientists found a clay tablet dating from 1500 BC at the banks of the Tigris River with an encrypted message they believed to be a recipe for pottery glaze, which must have been very valuable at the time. Whoa, that's crazy. I know, right? Encryption and decryption have been crucial during times of war. Little known fact, during World War II, more than 10,000 women were recruited by the US Army and Navy as code breakers, and their work significantly helped shorten the war and save thousands of lives. Wow, I never knew that. And cryptography is commonly used today in computing to help keep information secure. There are all sorts of different ciphers, ranging from super simple to incredibly complex. Here's an example of a super simple cipher. A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, and so on. So if you wanted to use this cipher to write the word hi, you would write eight, nine. Well, judging by the fact there are no numbers in our secret messages, I'm gonna state the obvious that the cipher is not the cipher that's used for our secret messages. That's correct. I decided to go with something a little more challenging than that. So the cipher that's used for these secret messages is called the Caesar Shift Cipher. It's named after Julius Caesar because he actually used this cipher to encrypt messages around 58 BC. Here's how it works. With this cipher, each letter of the alphabet is shifted by a certain fixed number. The shift is called a rot, which stands for rotation. So if rot equals one, then A equals B, B equals C, C equals D, and so on. I think you get the picture. Here, I'll show you an example. 
Let's say rot equals three, and we want to write the message hello. We simply shift each letter forward by three. So H equals K, E equals H, L equals O, and O equals R, which would spell out K-H-O-O-R. Nobody's gonna understand what KUR means unless they know the shift number is three. Then they can decode the message to reveal hello. What if you don't know the secret number? Can you still decode a Caesar cipher message? Great question, and the answer is yes, it is possible. Fun fact, Julius Caesar's cipher was eventually decoded 800 years later by a mathematician named Al-Kindi. In order to break the cipher, he found a clue. He noticed that if you scan the text of any book and count the frequency of each letter, you'll pretty much find over and over again that certain letters are more frequent than others. In the English language, for example, these are the letter frequencies. So you can see E is by far the most commonly used letter. So if you want to break a Caesar cipher but you don't know the shift number, you can scan the text to find the most commonly used letter. So let's say the most frequent letter in the encrypted text is K, then you know K is six letters ahead of E. So the shift number is probably six. This is called frequency analysis, and it's a valuable tool that's used by code breakers. Wow, okay, so now that we know all these secret messages were created by a Caesar shift cipher, we can use frequency analysis to try and decode them. Or you can just spill it and tell us the shift number to, well, um, speed things along. How about it? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what the shift number is, but only if you promise to write it down. And here's why. Your memory of handwritten words is tied to the movements the hand makes to write each letter, or number in this case. When you write by hand, you actually give your brain's encoding process a boost. Encoding refers to the process of sending information to your brain's hippocampus, the memory center, where the decision is made to either store the information long term or let it go and forget it. If you write something by hand, all that complex sensory information increases the chances the knowledge will be stored for later. Simply typing on a keyboard activates fewer areas of the brain. That's really interesting. Okay, I'm ready to write it down so I don't forget. I have my pen, I'm ready, and I know our viewers are ready. What's the secret number? All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. The number is 13. You can use ROT13 to decode the secret messages. Lucky number 13. Vanessa, thank you so much for stopping by today, for showing us how to be code breakers, and for teaching us all these cool facts too. Of course, thank you so much for having me and have fun. Okay, everybody, let's use the ROT13 key to decrypt the secret message, which means we need to take each letter of the alphabet and rotate it forward by 13 letters. You can use a cipher wheel just like this to make this part even easier. Look how cool this is. Just rotate the second row of letters by 13 spaces and you have your decoder right there. You can make your own at home with zebra pens and paper or download a free template at goldieblocks.com zebra. So I'll use this wheel as my key to show you what my original secret message was. And here it is, a secret none of my fans knew about me until right now. I have double jointed thumbs. I can't believe it, it's out in the open now. Well, <laughs> at least I made you all work for it, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope you learned something new, and I hope this inspires you to write your own secret messages and stump your friends and family. Thanks so much to ZebraPen for making this all possible. Bye.